Right, good morning. It's literally, well really, it's just a bit of a catch up because I've been away, I've been to Barcelona and it was amazing. Barcelona, you're amazing. Anyway, so I've been to Barcelona, then I've had some family stuff to sort out and I'm always missing my stitching, always miss my stitching. Um, so you've been seeing this a lot, this work, okay. And I appreciate you might be getting sick of the sight of it. If you aren't getting sick of the sight of it, can you please let me know? Because then I'll be happier posting it. Um, but the thing is, I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely adore working on it. And it's a long way from finished, so it's very time consuming. Um, that's never a problem, I've said it before. Time consuming equals great for me, I love it. Um, so it's probably not going to be finished if i worked on it constantly never did anything else i'd probably have it finished in a month maybe but i don't i can't do that because of teaching etc so the other thing i'm a bit obsessed with that's been a bit neglected is this paper piece here okay now you've seen this a lot as well but i want to finish this um you're going to ask me or you're probably thinking well what's it going to be doesn't have to be anything for me it's a sample of things you can do with paper and the thing is if I really want to progress this I need to stitch more paper because what's happened here is I've stitched the base papers um, fine tissue papers stitch them on my sewing machine to make them more substantial but also to alter them and give them lovely textures etc and then I've stitched small pieces like this and then joined them together so this one isn't completely embroidered yet. I may have worked on this at some point on video for you. Um, so what I'm trying to do here, in here, I don't know if you can see, there's little areas of silk velvet I'll pull in. Um, little areas of silk velvet uh, over here. And I'm edging those with chain stitch and French knots. So I was in the process of doing that, that's why that thread's still attached. And then what will happen is this will be attached and joined somewhere on here. It hasn't been, sorry, I'll pull out again. It hasn't been made for a specific area. I just make them and then make them fit. Um, so I would work, look and work and see when I see that might go there. But I would have to be conscious of not covering anything that's gone before. So say if I decided to put it there. <coughs> excuse me. I'd have a space there, but I could attend to that. I could put something else on there to secure that space. I could even tear a tiny bit of paper and put it on there. Um, have I got any paper on this I could tear? So let's say uh, I take a little bit from over here, which isn't going to be easy. Um, uh, 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 uh. So I could, for example, you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm literally just removing a tiny bit of paper from the edge of the main piece just to illustrate so I could tear a little bit of paper off and put it on there so that wouldn't necessarily worry me having that space there or I could just continue to move this around to move this around and find somewhere else for it like so that's what's going to happen with this but like I say I need to see that would fit perfectly there it would fit perfectly so that would be pinned and basted and then I would join it with these lovely bullion loops and um, because they just love these fine bullion loops and the way they're quite unruly they find their own place um, I'll put pull in again so you can see those let me see what you can see um, da -da -da -da, there aren't any here I don't think but let me pull it over because that's quite a good area on there so here tiny little unruly bullion loops they're very very fine they're made with cotton abroader 25 which is quite a fine cotton abroader and just for information i use 16 a lot which is thicker than 25 so the higher the number the finer the thread and these are done with 25 um and they're really i love them i adore them so i will join this piece when i come to join it wherever i come to join it I will join it with those bullion loops because I think a mass of those is going to look lovely. And the other thing, I bought these in Barcelona. I bought quite a few things in Barcelona. I put them on my blog last week. I'm sorry, I've got. I've had this cold for weeks and weeks and weeks. I can't get rid of it. Um, 
I thought these might work on here. The metal, especially cutting them out. Come on, come to me. So I think these are quite subtle and they might work on here. Um, and I would literally, they've got like, I think they're from a jewellery making shop. Um, so they've got like a little thing there for like a, get a pen and show you. So it could be on a bracelet or something, can you see that? So I would literally just join them there and let them dangle, let them hang free. So perhaps they'll find their way onto this piece as well. Um, but this is, I'm thinking about this, I'm also thinking about wrapping cloths because I said in another video previously, scroll through my YouTube channel, um, I've got a video on there saying how I've got unfinished wrapping cloths I need to finish. So that's also on my mind, but to be honest with you, um, I'm completely obsessed with this work. But, I mean, I've got all the time in the world, haven't I? I'm not going anywhere. Um, so I could, I'm sure, I can fit, especially if things quieten down in my private life, I'll be able to uh, address all three. This work, the paper thing, and the wrapping cloths. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base, because I'm aware I haven't been present very much. Um, but I'm not going to blame Barcelona, because it was amazing. Okay, take care.